Hi, and welcome to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location with Chef James Window out in Denham Springs at his business, Desserts First. Now, we are standing in front of his trailer that goes anywhere and cooks the most gourmet meals you can imagine. As a matter of fact, we've got some great stuff for you today. Jim, tell everybody what we're cooking. Herb-crusted lamb chops with potatoes bourguignon and zucchini proven cow with a pecan pie with creme fraiche. Now it is amazing that we're going to have a gourmet French meal cooked right here in this trailer and we're going to show you how we do it when we come back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location in Denham Springs at Desserts First, which is a catering company out here run by Chef James Window. Now, y'all, we are inside his catering trailer. You see there's all kinds of things behind me, and we're gonna get to cooking in just a second. But first, let me tell you what he's got for us today. He has an herb-encrusted rack of lamb chops. He's got some zucchini provençal and some potatoes boulangere. Now, we're going to have a gourmet French meal cooked for us right here in this portable trailer. And he says he's going to start with dessert first. So, you know, just to live up to the name, right? And he's got some mini pecan pies that are out of this world. Now, we're going to get to cooking right now. Okay, first of all, we have the uh, pecan pie dough which is, uh, you can make this prior to the uh, making your pecan pies. And it's very simple, just make a regular pecan, a uh, regular pie dough. I have these little tin cups that fit right in the pie dough into the press. And then you press down and you have a pie crust. Now it can be trimmed and he's going to make several of these tiny little crusts. Now they don't need to be pre-baked, but we do need to cook the filling for the pecan pies first. First we put the butter in and melt it. How much and, butter was that? Oh, I'm sorry, it's a half, it'll be a half a cup of uh, butter, real butter. We don't, I don't use margarine. I don't use any substitutes. Uh, you swirl the butter, you do not want your butter to burn. No, no, no brown butter. No brown butter, no, uh, just, plain butter uh, and all you want to do is just melt it but butter's melted next step is to add the sugar to it one cup of sugar this is a roasted pecan syrup I'm using one cup stir this or whisk it until all the sugar is melted and as long as you keep stirring it, it won't stick on the bottom. So a little bit like a root, don't walk away. Don't walk away from it. It's not a, it's not a two beer. <laughs> Hang out and stir no. that pot every now and then kind of thing. You gotta keep it going. This is something you gotta watch because it will burn and you don't want it to boil because then you're getting it too hot. Gotcha. Okay, I'm adding four eggs. And they will, they'll be whisked together. You do not want to add eggs that aren't beaten together or whisked together because they, they'll stay, they'll stay separated in with your sugar. So this way you whisk them up and you don't have to worry about them separating. Now, another problem you may have, if you add the sugar or this to the sugar mixture, you're going to get some scrambled eggs. So that you don't scramble your eggs, this is how you so add you, the hot so mixture. So you don't scramble your eggs. You add a little bit of the hot mixture to the eggs. And we're tempering the eggs. Tempering the eggs. Yeah, instead of scrambling. Because if you don't do this, you will get a scrambled egg pecan pie. All right, now you got that mixed. Just pour this into your... into your sugar mixture and whisk it continually. Then you get a nice smooth mixture, pecan pie mixture. And you're helping it cool off just a little bit so that you don't, do not cook the eggs. So, so far we just have the butter, sugar, the roasted pecan syrup, and the eggs. And eggs, that's it. That's all I'm gonna put in there except the, for the the only thing else I'm going to add is the pecans to the pie shells. Now you can add as many or as few as you want to add. Okay, 
Okay, so you're just putting them straight into the shell. I uh, thought you were going to dump them in here like no, I had the No, because then it, uh, somebody gets pecans, too many pecans. Gotcha, and this this gotcha. way you control your portions. So each one gets about how much? Each one probably gets about two ounces of, of the sugar, the, butter, uh, the sugar butter mixture. Okay. Uh, you don't want to fill them up too much because they will run over. And uh, make a burn mess, but that's why I'm using the parchment paper, so I don't have to worry about hurting the pan. And we're just making things difficult for you, aren't we? <laughs> I know you normally <laughs> just pour these out with the hand of a professional. Yeah. We're making you do things left-handed today. We're making you <laughs> use a spoon, <laughs> all for the camera, well, so people can see how it goes. Uh, these little pecan pies are are very nice for. They're nice for snacks. They're uh, nice for little desserts. And if you got uh, you got kids, you just give them the give them the tin, the the pecan pie, and send them on their way. There you go. Or if you got grandkids, fill them up with pecan pies and send them home. <laughs> fill them up with lots of sugar and send them home. Now, this is ready to go into the oven. How long is it going to bake? It bakes about 18 minutes. At what? Uh, 350 degrees. Great. So y'all, you saw the fantastic little pecan pies. And if you want to order some for yourself, we have the information right here at the bottom of the screen for desserts first. Now, Chef James has these where you can order them in huge quantities if you want. And you can come pick them up here at your facility in Denham Springs or you deliver? We can deliver, yes. Okay. Now, you can order all kinds of things. I mean, he has sugar-free cheesecakes, cheesecakes that are the most decadent things you've ever had. Any kind of dessert you can think of, he can make for you and bring it to your, uh, whatever your function you might have, whether it is a baby shower or office party or tailgating. I mean, come on, these little desserts are fantastic. And that way you don't have to be serving big pieces of anything, you got the little individual servings. And the biggest thing, you don't have to worry about making them. And they're made, and they're they're made to good standards with fresh butter and fresh cream, and uh, everything is done with with a lot of care and a lot of love in it. Because I have to eat them if y'all don't. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> now the little pies are out of the oven, and the way he serves it is with a little creme fraiche and caramel sauce drizzled around it. Now for our gourmet meal, we're going to start with the potatoes first with a nice chicken stock. All right, what I'm making now is the chicken stock with rosemary, thyme, and garlic. And we'll bring it to a boil and just let it sit. And then once we get to a little bit further, uh, we'll, we'll strain it and then uh, add it to the potatoes. It's a mixture of garlic and onions. How many onions you got there, two, three? I've got two large onions and five Cloves of garlic, sliced up. It takes just a little while to saute these onions. You want to saute them until they start getting a little bit of color on them. As we, we spoke before, mentioned before, I'm, I'm retired and I went to culinary school at age 60 when I retired from my boiler repair business. And I'm also retired from the Navy and uh, I'm having a good time, and I enjoy cooking, but I enjoy, most of all, I just enjoy seeing people enjoy good food. The food that we do, uh, we do for dinner parties, or we can come right to your house and use your kitchen and cook, or we can cook it here and deliver it to you for dinner parties from one up to whatever you decide that you uh, need to do. If it gets up over 50, we like to bring the trailer and cook right on site. So everything comes out fresh. Otherwise, we can cook it here, transport it, or come to your house and cook it for whatever number that you're looking for. Now, now we're going to finish off the potatoes and uh, the potato boulangere. First, we put down a layer of onions and then a layer of the, the sliced potatoes. Uh, the potatoes I like to use are the Yukon Gold. They, they cook nice. And they, uh, they have a real nice flavor to them. Then you put another layer on. And it looks like a lot of onions to start off with, but 
really it's not. Now add this other layer of potatoes to it. That looks like we'll have room for about one more layer. You see the nice color in those onions? One more layer of potatoes. Okay, now I'm adding my uh, chicken stock that's been seasoned with uh, rosemary and garlic and thyme. I strained it so I, don't, I get the big pieces out. Don't bring it up and fill it up all the way because you've got to push it down. This helps get some of the air out of it. Now, there again, you add your seasoning. And you're not adding too much salt because you do have a lot of potatoes there. Put a little drizzle of olive oil on the top of it. All right, now that I have everything in the, in the pot, I'm gonna put this in the oven, 400 degrees for about 25 minutes or until the top gets brown. So y'all, we have some cooking going on up in the stainless steel trailer at Desserts First. Now he's got the potatoes in the oven. The pecan cars are done now and they're just kind of resting. And the next thing we're gonna do are the uh, zucchini provencal and then some herb encrusted lamb chops. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with all of that here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show.